Architectural Builder Supply is pleased to present you with this recording of the technical question that is listed in the title of this video. This call may be monitored and recorded for quality assurance. Okay, so we have a 3833 grab bar, and that is a uh, product by ASI. That is a outrigger style is what we would call that. Right. And what question do you have? Okay, well, I'm looking at, well, my question is, I have a handicapped son, and he can stand and, and bear some weight. But instead of using it, I have a grab bar, a folding grab bar alongside the toilet, you know, that he uses to get up. And, it, and I just renovated a condo for him. So he's, he's when you're sitting in the commode, the shower is on the left-hand side. And we built him a, a hard seat. And he uses the grab bar on the left-hand side to stand. And I was curious if we could use that grab bar of yours to go across the shower in front of the seat. In other words, if you're sitting in the seat of the shower, could I run that grab bar straight across in front of it from the wall to the floor so that he could use that grab bar once he stands at the commode with the wall mount, he could grab your grab bar and then transfer to the seat, the seat. in the shower. So this is going this uh thirty eight thirty three would kind of dissect the shower and its width. It would physically be inside of the shower enclosure. That's correct. Yeah, I, I, the, the answer is yes. Um, I, I don't have any reservation about that. It is basically what it's intended for. It's completely stainless, so it's intended to be getting wet. Um, right. You know, the only thing I would add would be a generic comment that you, you know, you need to have the reinforcing done in the wall back there uh, because of right. the, I the, yeah, I, you know, your son, he's 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 probably not. You know, a toddler, so he's no, no, he's he's he's, he's, yeah, he's got some weight he's to him. Thirty-one years old. He's okay, a young man. Okay. He's thirty-one years yeah. old. He yes, weighs sir. about three hundred pounds. He weighs about okay. three hundred pounds. Yeah, so you're going to really want to make sure that you've got mounting um, reinforcement done so that you can, um, you know, because of the potential for lateral uh, force on the unit, not just vertical. Um, but yeah, yeah at that point, too by I have two by eights installed in the wall all the way around the shower because we weren't sure where we were going to put grab yeah. bars when we were <laughs> yes, when we were renovating. Uh, my question is, how do you anchor it to the floor? Do well, you use, the, do you use anchor bolts or? Yeah, uh, you know uh, that's the issue um, with piercing through the floor. Um, obviously, that's going to be a really bad idea in the enclosure. Um, uh, but depending on what the material is down below, there needs to be, you know, some method of anchoring. Um, sometimes you'll have a grab bar uh, without the outrigger that's just meant to be sleeved into a hole that's been cored into concrete. Um, you know, so the anchoring type is going to be based on what, what has been done in the floor. Um, well, it's got you know, ceramic I'm, tile, but then there's concrete underneath that yeah if it was me i would be going through that uh with um stainless steel machine bolts into lead expansion anchors into the concrete a lead anchor is incredibly um capable of not coming out um you know you'll you'll order some probably quarter 20 would be my guess i don't know off the top of my head the size of the hole drilled in the anchor uh pardon me in the flange for the floor um, but it's you know it's substantial um so something like a quarter 20 machine bolt made of stainless into a lead anchor into the concrete and you know there's, there's no other way of doing it short of bracing it to the to the to the far wall on the left yeah, yeah, the floor, I, and and that was my question exactly. You know, 
it said something about we supply mounts if needed. I was curious if you supplied mounts for not only the wall but the floor. Um, or, I can order the material from the factory. Uh, they would. I mean, I can, I can get some, but I need to know what size, how many, how many bolts. Or on that flange or whatever that I would have to drill through the tile into the concrete. How many how many bolts are there? Right. So on that flange, um, do you know? Uh, yeah, I I do. I just have to get to it. I want to be Is sure it that two it's two or three or. Yeah, I simply don't recall. I'm gonna get to that. No, that's fine. Box. I understand. You can't. You can't. Know. Can no talk off the top of your head everything about everything you sell or supply. Yeah, okay. I I can actually. Okay, I'm looking at the outrigger, and there are two holes in each of the two flanges. Flange. So you would need a total okay. of four. And two I for the can wall, grab two my. For the floor. Uh, there would be two. Oh no, that's there right. Was... You got an outrigger, so you need four for the floor. Four, yeah, four for the floor, two for the wall. I'm going to grab my caliper and put it on the hole through the mounting flange and tell you the actual ID of that hole. It's about 10 feet in the air, so here we go. Okay. Okay. That hole looks like it's about 5 sixteenths, but let's take a closer look. Okay. Okay, my caliper is telling me that the ID of that hole is 0 .282, 0 .282. So you'd be using quarter inch, quarter quarter twenty diameter. Uh, I would suggest quarter twenty diameter machine bolts for the bottom, and you know maybe a number fourteen screw in the wall. You know, uh, you know like yeah. maybe a, a, a number fourteen by three. Uh, stainless. Um, like a light uh, bulb. Probably, yeah, you know something. Yeah, like that. You know, you can get a quarter if you can get a quarter inch lag. Um, the yeah should have no problem with the clearance of the of a lag bolt head in there. I might just go with a with a uh, well lag bolt would be off off awfully nice. Um, yeah. Well, I just like but, to yeah I like to. I like the security of it, you know, the strength of it, you know, putting a lag bolt through that two by eight. Yeah, you put a socket hat on it, yes, sir, rather than number three Phillips. Right. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Right, right on. Right. Yeah, I mean, you know, before I started ordering bolts and I would just go to a, you know, like a industrial hardware supply like McMaster Car. Where you can buy, you know, you'll buy exactly what you what you want. I might get right. the bar in my hands before I bought the bolts. Um, oh and yeah, without the doubt. plan. Oh yeah, without a doubt. So the uh, the height is thirty three inches. Is that the only height you guys make? Is that any shorter? Any lower? Well, anything or not? well anything can be made. Is. Uh, yeah, anything can be made, but when we leave the reservation, so to speak, it becomes yeah. it becomes. Uh, you know, orders of magnitude more expensive. And well, 30... 33 is, yeah, 33 is, see, his uh, his folding grab bar at the commode is 34, the very top bar. So that would put me right there, you know. A, you know, it's not like a, an inch is a big difference, you know. So, it's not so a the big 33 deal. inches, actually the dimension from the floor to the center of the horizontal bar so you'll have another three quarter inch because of the radio, the well, you know the diameters inch and a half, and then to the top of that flange if you wanted to be to know that dimension, which I don't think would matter. So you'd really be at yeah. thirty three and three quarter from the floor to the top of the bar. Yeah. Okay, that's good. That's fine. Okay, that's my question. So if I wanted to order it, I would just call you guys and I could purchase it straight from you guys and ship it to well, me or. Well, certainly, I've, I've got them. I've got four of each hand sitting ten feet from from me right now. Okay, great, great. That's what I need to know. All right, listen, I appreciate your help. Uh, 
I have to go to the condo this morning. I want to take a couple more measurements just to make sure. And uh, you'll probably be hearing from me today or in the next day or so. and I'll, I'll probably end up uh, uh, purchasing one of those. So that would be... So that would be... If we ran it across the front of him, like I said, that outrigger would be going away from him, correct? I would want. I would think wall. you'd want that. You'd order a left hand. Yeah, left hand. That way it'd be coming from the wall, coming across. You'd have one going straight, then you'd have the outrigger going away from him. Correct? Uh, that's how I would expect it to be, yes, sir. Yeah, that's that's what I would want. That way, when he transferred, he wouldn't have the outrigger coming towards him, and he'd have to worry about getting around or tripping on it or whatever. Absolutely. Do you want me to send you a quote? Uh, yeah, that would be great. Okay. Architectural Builders Supply hopes you have enjoyed this program.